Hey everyone, we are trying out Toadstool Cafe today for the first time. Join us and see what the hype is all about. Toadstool Cafe is located at Super Nintendo World. It is the only restaurant there and it is very popular. So you're going to want to make sure you get a reservation as soon as you get into the park. Now once you're in, you're going to be greeted by Chef Toad. He's preparing all of our dinners and lunches, which is super exciting. Throughout the queue, you're going to see all of the menu items, so you have plenty of time to prepare as it takes usually around 30 to 40 minutes to get through the line to even order your food. Now once you've placed your order, they are going to set you in a seat somewhere in the dining area. And make sure you check out the dining area because it's pretty cool. They've got some things on the wall, some screens where events will happen. And things will change during your dining experience. Now the food comes out pretty quickly, so let's take a look at it. We did get a bunch of different things. Uh, this is the Mario burger with the truffle fries. It's super cute because it has his mustache on the top of the bun, and it even comes with a cute little Mario hat. Um, you've got some mushrooms on here. Bacon, who doesn't love bacon? Uh, lettuce, tomato, normal burger items, and some truffle fries. You also are gonna have the toad stool garlic knots. Um, pretty basic bread with some Parmesan and seasonings on top of that. We also have the Piranha Caprizi Salad, because who doesn't love a Caprizi Salad, especially when it looks like the Piranha Plant. We also got the Mount Beanpole Cake, uh, which looks delicious, layers of vanilla chocolate and strawberry cake with matcha on top, and then of course the Princess Peach Cupcake, which is just so adorable and cute. Now we're going to start with the Toadstool Garlic Knots. Um, I rate them kind of low as like a 4 out of 10. They're just kind of basic. They weren't super warm when we tried it. Um, and the flavor is fine, but it wasn't super impactful. So I'm going to rate it kind of low. Michael liked it a little bit more than I do. Not a bad choice, but I think there's some better options for you on the menu. Such as the Superstar Lemon Squash Drink. Um, it's super fizzy. It's very springtime, fun, delicious, light. Honestly, one of our favorite things on the menu, we rated it really high, like a 9 out of 10. So definitely try this when you come, you won't be disappointed. And then next we have the Piranha Plant Caprizi. Um, so you're going to see tomato, cheeses, uh, pesto sauce, cut radishes. It's super cute, aesthetically wise, they did a really nice job with it. Um, but the silverware made it really hard to eat. You kind of have to use your hands for it, which is totally fine. But for the price point, we feel like there's better options. Now, if you are vegan or you just want something green and delicious, this is a good option. Also, the silverware is terrible. We rank it a 0 out of 10. Next up, we have the Mario Burger. Um, like I said before, it's got mushrooms, bacon, lettuce, tomato, cheese on it, and it comes with truffle fries. The burger was fine. We gave it a 5 out of 10. Nothing special. Pretty standard for a theme park burger. And the fries are actually pretty good, crispy. They have the same type of flavoring as the garlic knots. Now, while we were eating, Bowser and his troop decided to invade Toadland. So you'll see on the screens back here, ships coming in, the toads are getting attacked, they're being infiltrated. Um, it doesn't last super long, and then it kind of clears back out. But it's just a fun, cute touch to kind of bring you into the world and setting a little bit more. Now it's time for some dessert. We started with the Mount Beanpole cake. Again, layers of chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry cake with matcha topping. It was really good. I was actually expecting to like it less than I did. Again, eating with the silverware was not fun, as most of the topping just stuck to it. We gave it a 7 out of 10, so definitely a good choice if you want a lighter uh, type dessert while you're here. 
Michael really did enjoy this one. I am a super sweets person, so the next one is my favorite, which is the Princess Peach Cupcake. It is a fun fetty cupcake with a raspberry filling. It's got a ton of icing. If you're not an icing person, I would not suggest this. And a fun little chocolate crown. This one, I give a 10 out of 10. I think it was the best item here. And you definitely should get it if you like sweets. Um, again, if you're not an icing person, skip this one. Go for the Mountain Dew Pole Cake. Overall, we really enjoyed our experience. It's definitely immersive and fun. Um, again, as far as theme park food goes, it's probably a little bit on the better end. So whenever you make it over to Universal Hollywood or Epic Universe coming May 22nd, definitely check this restaurant and let us know what you think of the food. Now, if you're not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and follow for more. Have a magical week, you all, and we will see you next week.